welcome to the shade garden. Now, of course, shade gardens aren't as bright and flowery as sun gardens are, but there's a great way to get beauty and lushness with shade plants, and that's by using many different types of plants that have different shades of greens, different leaf textures. Uh, yes, some of them have flowers, and they also have different size leaves, colors. It can be so inviting and calming in a shade garden. And again, they do have flowers too. Now they're not as exciting to buy in the nursery because they usually are just green and they're all lined up on a table. And not every plant does well in a pot either. They come to their glory once they're planted in the ground. And I just wanted to show you a few of these beautiful shade plants, what they look like in a pot and what they might look like later. So this is a gorgeous Duranicum right here. And you can see it's kind of cute in the pot, nice little yellow flower, which brightens up a shady area. But look at it planted. And this is only a season old and it's just exploded. It's gorgeous. And again, that yellow will pop in a cooler area. This is a nice plant epimedium. It's more of like a ground cover, gets a tiny white flower, but it's frilly. It's a nice uh, opposite texture of the Duranicum. And this is what it looks like in the pot, but look at it in the bed. It spreads out. It's, it's very soft looking and fine and it grows beautifully. Again, more like a ground cover. Then this one is the Simicifugia. Now, I, I love this plant. This one really doesn't look like much in the pot. This will get a tall spike of a white flower that's super fragrant. Now look at it in the bed. Look at those chocolate leaves on there and how the epimedium bounces off of that. So using color in, in the foliage as a play is so important. Now everyone knows about hosta and we have a great selection of hosta here. Um, Again, look at the size of this in the pot and look at the size of the hosta in the bed. And there's so many types of hosta to choose from too. All different leaf colors and shades and textures of that as well. Here's another really great example. Um, this is a painted fern and then there's also ghost fern. And look how small, it just doesn't look like much in the pot. I have these at home and love it. Look how big and beautiful it is there. So if you have a shady spot, don't fret. Come check out our display bed and get some ideas. Thanks for joining me. I'm Casey Krause, your home gardener from Hillside Garden Landscaping.